Angie, here we go again. Another week of News OK TV. I'm, I'm Dave Morris. <laughs> like you said, I'm Angie. Yeah. I'm Angie Bruss. It is Monday, July 9th, 2012. Thanks for joining us. We're going to kind of tell you what you can find on NewsOK.com today. The Oklahoma City School District and Oklahoma City University are locked in a bidding competition for Central High School. The Oklahoma City School District gave up the building 30 years ago. It was sold to Southwestern Bell Telephone. Superintendent Carl Springer was excited to see the property listed for sale back in 2010. The school district would like to use the former high school for its administrative offices, but OCU argues its law school would be a better fit for the facility. OCU's Board of Trustees is calling on Springer and the school board to look at other options. Infant Crisis Services won a large grant from Walmart earlier this month. The Walmart Foundation's State Giving Program awarded $50,000 to the Oklahoma City Charity. The funds will be enough to feed and diaper more than 1,500 babies and toddlers. There's a 40% chance of rain Monday afternoon in Oklahoma. Skies will be mostly cloudy with a high of 93 in the metro. The possibility for showers remains through the evening hours. Tuesday will be slightly cooler with highs in the upper 80s. The 90 degree temperatures return on Wednesday as you can see and remain for the rest of the week. Former Sooner football quarterback Jamel Holloway is drawing on his past experiences to help future generations. After his time at OU, Holloway struggled and he was arrested several times over a period of two decades. Now he's shedding light on his past while trying to help young athletes by hosting football camps in rural Oklahoma. It's been a great deal. Thanks for the Creek Nation helping um, to be able to bring the kids together of all races is, is just a joy for me to see. James Harden will join two of his Thunder teammates on the U.S. Olympic basketball team. Harden, Kevin Durant, and Russell Westbrook are the first trio of NBA teammates ever to represent Team USA in the same international competition. Oklahoma City power forward Scherz Baca will also play in London, but he will be playing for Spain. Well, thrill seekers have a new way to unleash their inner daredevil at a new zip line in Tulsa. The zip line is the first of its kind in Oklahoma. It contains seven platforms, six zip lines, and 4,000 feet of cable that run just north of downtown Tulsa. Wow, how fun. Is that fun? Zip lines are very fun, and now we have a pretty cool one just an hour and a half north of us. Uh, I did the zip line uh, in Costa Rica. Um, when I was there, uh, wow. you know, above the can canopy of the rainforest there. It ah, is a lot of fun. Man, that's awesome. Now that, he knows how to do it. That's cool. Yeah, it's a it's pretty cool experience. I think they are talking about putting a zip line down at the Oklahoma River oh, as well. Nice. You know, the rapids, that's zip right. lines, and some stuff down there. So very nice. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Very neat. Well, yeah, so just go on up to Tulsa to, uh, to check that one out. All right, and you can go on up to newsok.com, the site that you're on right now watching this, probably uh, <laughs> check out these stories and videos. All right, see ya.